Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Sir TV. Please do well to subscribe to this channel, like, share and click on the bell icon to get notified when we post a new video. Thank you. Over the weekend, uh, or in the past few days, social media has been a buzz with um, the hashtags, of course, as a result of your leak and the documents that you have reportedly leaked. Now, I, I think I'll start from the back and then we get to the front. Uh, your account has currently been suspended as a result of this. Um, tell us, first of all, why you are handling this, um, why, how you are handling all of this, and why the investigation into the presidential candidate uh, of the All Progressives Congress, or in this case, the president-elect. Okay, so um, let me let me start from the issue with my account being um, suspended. It hasn't actually been suspended. It's just been temporarily locked, um, which is what happens when a certain number of um, accounts uh, uh, reports a post of yours and then Twitter automatically responds by locking your account and then gives you the, the, um, the choice to either delete the content and immediately regain your account, which I can still do if I want, or to go through the appeal process if one believes one hasn't done anything wrong. In this case, I clearly haven't done anything wrong because according to Twitter's own platform policies, um, the policy on, on privacy of information doesn't apply when the subject is a public figure and when the um, post is done in the public interest, which is what this is. Now, um, what, what, what has happened here is I, I, I actually got hold of these documents quite a number of months ago. Um, I wasn't able to put it out at the time because um, there was a fear that it might be traceable back to the source. I was uh, I was told by the source that I should give it a, a certain period of time before putting this out there, which is why I waited until a few uh, days ago to put this out. And what this document proves beyond any conclusive um, uh, shred of, of doubt, of, of reasonable doubt, is that the president-elect has in fact committed the crime of perjury perjury which is lying under oath now on his INEC ec9 declaration which is essentially sworn david stating one's intention to run for president um there are several there, there are several questions that are asked on the affidavit one of them is um uh have you ever obtained uh citizenship of another country and on the INEC ec9 form he ticked no now, um, this document proves that he has, in fact, obtained citizenship of at least one other country that we know of. By the way, can I ask, where is Mr. Tinobu? He's outside the country, he's outside Nigeria, specifically where I don't know. I haven't called him since we finished our work, so... Is he all right? Last, oh, no, I lied. I spoke to him. About a week ago, he was in France. Okay. Is he all right? Of course Medically. He is. Of course he is. Come on. No, no, no. I'm asking because these are some of the questions that, you know, I mean, we, we reflect on what is happening. Let's go there. So since 2002, when he hurt his back, mm -hmm. almost every time he has traveled, opposition has said he has died, but he still comes back alive. He'll be back soon. But I'm not sure they said he has died this time around. They're just <laughs> worried. Fine. That he's, fine. He, they said, look, <laughs> is he there on a vacation to rest or something? I believe that um, um, I believe that he's taking some time out. He needs it. He ran, I think, the longest, the fiercest campaign. He ran, his primaries was the most contested. After the primaries, he went around making peace with all those who were successful against him. <laughs> After that, he was busy involved in planning the re-election. And since then, he just ran this sprint, this marathon, like a sprint. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that he he deserves... You know you know what Ni some Nigerians have been saying? <laughs> They've suggested to him about three or four places that he could have gone to rest, since now he's now the president, like Yankari Game Reserve, yes. uh, Ikogosi, um, Calabar. These are very beautiful places. Now we have a president-elect who has chosen to go to France to go and rest. So Nigeria is not enough to rest. I, I These are some of the questions. I, I am conjecturing that is what he went to do. But the Bola Tinumbu, I think I know, President-elect, uh, <laughs> will also be doing some networking. There is no idle moment in his life. And, uh, he overworks himself and overworks his mind. I know that he will be doing a lot of networking, meeting people, planning ahead. 
<laughs> building relationships that might be useful for his government and for Nigeria internationally, and he's a highly connected person. So uh, you've you've said that Mr. Tinubu is very okay medically. So you, you you've told Nigerians that. So um, uh, you were his chief of staff. Would you be playing the similar role unlikely. in his government? Well, unlikely, I don't think. Let, let me let me see if you can help us out with some information. Why is the man you you were his chief of staff? Um, of I mean, he has so much of controversy <laughs> around him. Uh, and I, I'm hoping that you might be able to clear the air. There are controversies about his age, his true age, controversies about his true educational status, controversy about his name. In fact, there are controversies about whether or not he has dual citizenship, controversies about his past life in the United States. Can you clear the air about this man? I think that makes it the more interesting. And I think those issues have been ventilated sufficiently. You know what the Nigerian people have decided? Those issues don't matter. That's what they have said by this vote. And in making that choice, the only thing I can say to you is that every time it got more difficult, I used to tell people this was his path to success. There was no easy way. There's no easy day for him. The more difficult he gets, then you can be sure it's as you are used. And I think that for somebody who has faced all of these obstacles, uh, I, keep, I keep referring to when he was... I remember when, <laughs> when he wanted to be governor. You may or may not recall, for three days after the primaries, we couldn't find the state party chairman, the returning officer for the election. And Lagos was in suspense for three days until they found the but, returning yeah. officer. And that, that, that's... That's the Ashwaju story. But, but he, does he really have a dual citizenship? That's the Ashwaju story now. And, um, you know, so the more difficult he gets, the more he brings out the best in him. And for me, I think that now that all of these hurdles have been surmounted, maybe there's a divine purpose. Maybe perhaps, just perhaps, this is where Nigeria begins to turn in the most positive way forever. Because sometimes, this is just what it is. Because governance is not about sainthood. It is about efficiency. It is about performance. It is about delivery. So Bola Tinubu is not a saint? I am not. 